good morning dear students i hope you all are fine so let us do year 12th chapter today so it's a poem and the name of the poem is falling leaves as we all know with the change of seasons like in autumn seasons leaves start falling from the trees and in this poem the poet has uh, described about the falling of the leaves from the te- uh, from the trees so uh, your first stanza is up in the trees there is a gentle sigh for the leaves are whispering goodbye goodbye leaves of yellow of crimson of brown saying goodbye as they flutter down so uh, what is the scene that uh, up in the tree there is a scent- gentle sigh sigh means to say uh, you can say a sense of grief or some sadness so trees are sad because leaves are whispering whispering means to say in a low voice they are saying goodbye means they are falling away from the trees leaves of yellow means they are of yellow color they are of crimson crimson means to say dark red in color some are of brown and they all are saying goodbye as they flutter down flutter down means to say Uh, flutter is a kind of sound uh, that they produce when they fall down so they are falling down and they are saying goodbye to the tree next stanza is up in the trees there is a golden grain of the leaves that ne'er will be green again leaves of chestnut of hawthorn and lime falling from branches of suf- of summer time so again in the second stanza, second stanza poet is saying that up in the trees there is a golden rain why a golden rain so because most of the leaves when they fall they turn into yellow color or uh, golden brownish color so when they fall from the t- trees uh, it appears like a golden rain so poet has called that falling of leaves that falling of yellow leaves as golden rain and what he is saying that of the leaves that ner n e and then apostrophe e r it means uh, it's a old form of never word so in earlier times never word is written like this in many poems so this means never so of the leaves that never will be green again as we all know that once leaves become yellow once they die once they fall off from the tree they never uh, they can never become green again so now a uh, leaves of chestnut hawthorn and lime so these are the names of trees chestnut uh, chestnut is a tree that produce glossy hard brown nuts hawthorn a thorny shrub or small tree with white or red or pink flowers and lime as we know uh, it's a tree that we a small juicy fruit lemons just pe lagte hain so all the trees were shedding leaves falling from branch of summer time because of the summer time because of the uh, the arrival of the autumn season these are falling away from the trees falling off from the trees then third stanza is under the boughs is a carpet bright which the leaves have made in a single night brown of oak leaves and yellow ash crimson of maple in ruddy splash so again in the third stanza what the poet is saying that under the boughs boughs means to say branches of the trees so by falling down they had formed a carpet uh, like something uh, under the tree under the boughs or the branches of the tree which the leaves have made in a single night because uh, when they start falling so uh, overnight they fall in a large number so they uh, had formed a carpet like something bright carpet of leaves under the tree or under the boughs brown of oak leaves so again oak is the name of tree and uh, they are saying that there is, these are the brown color leaves of oak and yellow ash crimson of maple maple is a name of tree uh, with leaves that have five points so as you can see from this picture also it, it may be a leaf of maple because it is of uh, uh, you can say it is also having five points so they are ready means to say red colored so स्प्लैश मीन्स टू से जैसे किसी चीज़ का पानी का कोई भरा हुआ टब हो तो वो या जैसे मीन्स दिस ऑल सीन मीन्स जो कारपेट की तरह बन गया नीचे लीव गिर गिर के तो दैट इज़ कॉल्ड स्प्लैश सो क्रिम्सन अगेन मीन्स टू से रेड कलर सो रेड येलो ऑल कलर लीव्स आर फॉलिंग डाउन ऑन द ग्राउंड देन फोर्थ स्टेंजा इज ऑल थ्रू द वर्ड्स गो द क्रूअल विंड एंड ही ड्राइज द लीव्स विद हिज ब्रीथ unkind 
leaves that cover and shelter and cling trembling and frightened of everything so now they are talking about wind there is a poet is saying wind is a cruel person because uh, you can say because of the wind leaves has to move uh, away from the trees so all through the woods goes the cruel wind so poet is saying that woods means to say forest or where there is a lot of trees so poet is saying that this is happening only because of cruel wind as he tries the leaf with his breath unkind because wind is very unkind to these leaves uh, it do not leave uh, the uh, leaves on the trees and because of this wind leaves has to fall apart from the trees leaves that cover cover means to say uh, bend low or move backward because of fear means having fear uh, leaves that cover and shelter and cling means leaves were trying to stay with the tree they want to have a shelter they want to or they trying to cling to the tree trembling means to say shivering and frightened means to say dare hue so they are uh, they are having a fear of everything they are uh, you can say they are afraid of the strong winds and they are trying to cling to the tree but they are helpless because wind is very strong and they are weak so uh, because of that they are falling off from the tree then the last stanza is all down the stream on its swollen tide float the leaves like ships in which fairies ride ships that hasten to harbor and sigh winter is coming goodbye goodbye so again uh, swollen means to say large so than normal so what they are saying that along all down the stream on its swollen tide so now uh, the final destination of leaves is that they flow along with the water of the rivers so stream means to say flowing river so all down the stream on its swollen tide when the river is full of water uh, when it is having more water so leaves flow along with its tides and floats the leaves like ships in which fairies ride so leaves float on the surface of the uh, water like boats uh, float so ships that hasten to harbor and sigh winter is coming goodbye goodbye so finally as sh uh, ships uh, reaches the harbor harbor means to say a place where uh, ships are loaded and unloaded so similarly uh, after movement they also reaches one corner or one side of the river or the stream and uh, then winter season is coming and then they are again saying goodbye goodbye so this is a uh, you can say a little bit sad kind of the poem in which uh, the story of falling leaves is described by the poet so i hope you enjoyed the poem then on the next page students a1 exercises complete the following sentences so what you have to do here you have to complete these sentences and uh, you, you have to find the answers of the sentences from the poem so then a2 they have given you two lines and below questions are given on the basis of these lines so you have to read these lines carefully and then you have to solve these questions and i hope you can do this because this is very easy the next is your b part that is sounds and pronunciation so some words are given and their sounds are given so and uh, shut part find so uh, a sound of u is given here then ash as splash that then arm park bomb garden so you have to write five five more words of the similar sound here in the given space so you can write any word of your choice here in the given space and uh, with this your poem is complete so i hope uh, everything is clear to you so thanks for listening and have a nice day